Hey everybody, welcome back to what may be the final part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 1. And yeah, just a little quick thingy right here. Uh, I Temple Ruins, this was the level I went back to get the gem on so that I could save. And um, yeah, this was the level I was thinking of that had that little section where the invisible crates would appear when you walked off on a Wampa Fruit line. So I don't know if that was repeated for that later uh, temple level, but yeah, that was the one I was actually thinking of, so. Yep, got the gem for that, and the reason I'm going back this far is because I'm about to farm some Aku Aku masks. Because the upcoming level, which I believe is the lab, is really annoying to me. So yeah, I'm just getting some extra hit points. So meet you back at the lab! Okay, and with that out of the way, we can make our way back to the lab. Yeah, I have no qualms about going back to get masks because, quite frankly, this level is just really annoying to me. I would actually go as far as to say that this is the hardest level in the game to me. And Are you freaking kidding me? I SAVED! What? Oh my god. I got a fight in freaking Rio. <laughs> what in the world? I saved the game! <sighs> At least I get these lives again. Alright, cutting the frick ahead. This makes no sense whatsoever. Alright, I beat in Brio again, and I lost both my masks, so... I don't know if that was the stock masks they always give you for a boss fight or the two I had originally, but whatever. I'm not about to go all the way back. Alright, anyway, the lab. My god, I hate this level. Seriously, to me, this is the hardest level in the game. Screw Slippery Climb, screw Sunset Vista. Yep, I lost both my masks. Oh my god. Okay, alright. Alright. This level just deals primarily with patterns. Like, you need to study everything. Okay? That does the floor, and that does the door. Okay. Just wait. Oh, come on. Alright, nope. There we go. Alright. I really hate this level so much. Okay. Oh, I just make that jump. All right. Slime! You have to jump on the slime, but the slime is infinite. They they always come back, so... Oh, God. All right. Oh, and by infinite, I mean, like, infinite slime. They will always respawn, so you just have to hurry up and go past them. Now, this is where they really want to troll your ass. Like, seriously. Oh. Okay, or maybe not. Must be thinking of the one coming up. But yeah, this is why you just don't wonton spin things. Yep. See? That's just evil. Just go ahead and activate it. Alright, now we make a run for it. Grab a life. I have 34 now. Yay! Yay! And I... Actually, believe this is the only check. Oh, wait, no, no, no. There, there's one real checkpoint as well. Okay. I screwed that up. Yeah, you actually had to get on top of that jumping, bouncy crate that was up there. What do I care? This is a bonus section. <laughs> These aren't required. Hey, how you doing, Tana? We're on our way. We're on our way, babe. We're gonna rescue you. Yeah. Alright, give me that there check a point to check your points. Check your points. Okay. Uh, right over forty-three. It's sad that on my LP file I'm actually doing better than my main file, but whatever. It was seventy one percent of the game complete, although I am I'm still not really about to get a hundred percent on this legit. Especially since there were a couple gems that I got off camera, so I mean what's the point? Alright. Ah, these scientists! Ah, my dear lord, I hate these scientists. Okay. 
Oh, well, yeah, okay, there, there goes my shot at the frickin' gym. Alright, pretty much that's what you need to do. You need to keep spinning them back so they die. Okay. That's the floor, and that's the door. Alright. Okay, alright. That's some floor, and this here's the door. All right, floor, door. We gotta time it up with the electricity. All right. Okay. Oh God! Oh, he can change his arch. Oh my lord! I must have blocked out that painful memory. Okay. Alright. I can do this. I can do this. Oh god, no. I actually I probably could have made that. Oh god, okay. Alright. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're just strictly the door. Alright. Okay, we got some electricity here. I mean, not electricity, but TNT. Okay. I probably could have made it through that door, but eh, whatever. Because, yeah, if the door actually lands on you, you die! And now we gotta time up this floor with that damn electricity. Come on. Die, fool! All right. Okay. Made it too far to die now. That's the door. That there's the floor. All right. Wait, is there electricity on the other side of that? Oh no, no. Okay, it seems it seems good. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, I hate this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Slime. Okay, the slime didn't come back, thank you. Okay. Lives. Precious lives. Just stand on the other side of it. See, if I was one foot, you know, back, that door would have actually shut on me and killed me. My God, the timing! Oh, I probably could have made that. No! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, wait, no. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god, I need to catch my breath after that one. Holy shoot. Okay, ah, boy. Ah, boy, 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 boy. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you really don't want to bounce on that. You just want to, like jump, land, and then just walk forward so you can make the jump, and there we go. A lot less trouble. Had not been for that stupid death, I actually would have had, uh, the gym for that. Huh. Oh! Oh, the Great Hall. Oh, actually, I forgot about this one. Oh, my dear God. Yeah, this, this is about to be a 30-minute part, people. Um, yeah, if you thought the lab was hard, oh, my dear God. Seriously, like, I, I, I stand corrected. This is the hardest level in the game. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, th th this one might take me a minute. Like, seriously, this one is really just trial and error. Enemies and traps everywhere. And, my God, I mean, th this is, like, without a doubt, the hardest level in the game. I almost quit here before, but... <sighs> okay, whatever. I'm, I have to suck it up. I'm going to have to do it. There will be rage. I guarantee you that. There will be rage. Let's do it! The Great Hall! The penultimate level of the game. Dear God. Whew! This is about to be a doozy. Alright. See if I can do it. Oh, would you look at that! Yeah! Yeah! No, okay, yeah. 
seriously, no, th this is just a dummy level. It's, it's not hard. It's Well, technically speaking, it is the hardest level in the game, because um, to truly complete it, you need to have all of the gems. Because, yeah, if you stand on this gem and jump on this here gem and that gem and that gem. Well, these are just... Like, that's just because I collected that many gems, but... Yeah, you need to collect all the gems in the game to build a gem platform to take you all the way back there. And that's how you unlock the true ending. So yeah, pretty much the true ending of the game, like, you get, and it doesn't involve fighting Cortex. Like, you bypass the Cortex fight. So, uh, yeah. And we're about to go for the, well, the ending that's, well, see, I don't know. Because they call the uh, ending you get with the uh, gems the true ending. But technically speaking, Crash 2 picks off from the ending we're about to get. It doesn't pick off from the quote-unquote true ending. So, I don't know. I don't know. Just just some, uh, some random observation there. But anyway, let's end this. I like how he stopped to wipe his brow. Like, oh my god. And one jump. I almost didn't make it. Alright, but anyway, Dr. Neo Cortex, yeah, boy! Here we go. He is not that hard as, like, he is not as hard as Embryo to me. Okay, five hit points, we got this. Okay, just want to avoid those, do you? Oh, wait, no, you're supposed to spin the green back. Yay, we're spinning energy blast back at him, and I like how the island is burning. Okay. And the blue ones, you just gotta dodge them as they do like that, and then do that. Oh crap, I got hit! Pretty much... I don't know, he set fire to his island in an attempt to kill us? Oh wow. Just got hit. Oop. Oh crap! He's getting sneaky with it! Okay. I got one hit left. This might not happen. Oh, okay, alright. And I think this is just one green shot. Oh. There we go! That is the final boss of this game. Kinda disappointing, if you ask me. And yay, all's well, that ends well. We rescued Tana and she's holding up Crash. And Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That, that's just weird. All right, whatever. That's the ending. Uh, that their ending. Um, oh, kind kind of a uneventful ending, if you ask me. Uh, but yeah. Well, no, I was gonna make it a bonus part, but I might as well just tag it on to here. You know, I mean, a, a, an ending that's I mean, a final part of an LP that's like shorter than some of the other parts itself. I don't know. It just kind of seems. I don't know, the ending does leave something to be desired. Yeah, I was going to make it a bonus, but whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll do it now. Uh, one moment while I look this up. Just enjoy the credits. Nice music. Not really, I mean the music, the final music sort of leaves something to be desired too. It's like, oh yeah, you just beat this game. You know, this game that caused you so much rage and frustration and anger. But now we're going to play this nice little, uh, uh, well, what's, what's it called? Uh, elevator music. Yeah, there we go. In memory of Taiman Kim, aww. 96, okay. Let's finish writing this. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, and I think that is it. Okay. Alrighty there. I got the... What is known as the ultimate code. I wrote it down. I have a little Crash Bandicoot... Um, 
walkthrough sort of saved on my desktop, so yeah. I wasn't consulting it, I had that for my first time through the game, so... No, 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 crap! Loading time for the opening cutscene, I forgot all about this! Eh. Oh boy. But yeah, uh, the ultimate password unlocks every stage. I'm just doing this to show off the secret bonus levels and I'm not gonna be too fussed about beating them I'm just gonna go through until I first die or whatever so triangle 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 X square oh and see they're saying enter super password and you get this from uh, uh, beating the game 100% I believe and that's never gonna happen with me so yeah thank you game facts Yep, there we go. Dr. Neo Cortex, 100% complete, 32 out of 32 levels, 2 out of 2 uh, r uh, uh, keys, and 26 out of 26 gems. Alright! Okay. And now to show off. Wait, the lab had a color gem? Huh. Wow, okay. Alright, so then we're going to go up here. If we would have got the key from Lights Out we we'll be able to go in here. Fumbling in the dark. The other darkness level. Let's go ahead and do it. Fumbling in the dark. They should have made uh, Stormy Ascent a secret level. Yeah, Stormy Ascent, the sequel to Slippery Climb. On this, you want to jump back, only not totally screw up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this I remember. Like That's just super trolly. But you get so many Aku Aku masks. But you need to do this to get the gem here. Yeah, surprisingly, you need to get the gems from the hidden levels too to get a hundred percent. Okay, just going through until I first die. It's not that bad of a level so far. Ah, crap! Eh, why not? That 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 was. That was too short. Might, might as well just go on. I want to show off, you know, some of the level, I guess. Proved to be a nice little challenge. Wow! Forward momentum? Physics? You have let me down? I just want to get past that part, show off a bit more of the level, I guess. Okay. Oh. Erg! Ooh! Okay. Got some death Scythes right there. <laughs> death Scythes. Little insider joke. Oh, shoot! Eh, well, whatever. I'm not too fussed about that. But, yep, that's fumbling in the dark. Don't know if there are checkpoints on there or not. I actually don't think I've ever beaten that level. But, eh, whatever. Oh, Slippery Climb has a color gem, too. Okay. High roll, pinstripe, tucks of ways. Huh, blue gem. Okay. So now we go back here to Island 2. Yep, you get the key in Boulder Dash. Wait, you get the key in Boulder Dash? Really? There were... Oh, I thought you'd get it in Sunset Vista. Oh, wait, you get the key in Sunset Vista and you bring it back here to Boulder Dash. Okay. Yep, here we have Whole Hog, the sequel to the Hog level. Let's go ahead and do it. I am definitely not going to beat this. Whatever, I've right, got the little piggy pig. Fun music. Urk! Eh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. One more life. One, well, two more until lives reach zero. Then I'll go for the quote unquote true ending. Okay. Pick it. Yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know. Eh, screw it. Not too fussed about that one either. I should have made that jump since I landed square on the drum, but whatever. Not too fussed about it. Just giving you all a little taste of them. And, and oh my dear God, the navigation. Okay, let's go on up here we return to the great hall 
So yeah, this is what we would have done had I not been lazy slash a coward and got all the gems. But yeah, like I said, technically speaking, this is the hardest level in the game, considering to beat it, you need to have gotten 100% on all the other levels. Okay, for platforming! My worst enemy. How you doing, Tana? How you doing? You got a... Wow, you got a tapestry in your honor. Okay. Alright. Do not totally fail. Because, yeah, you can still die on here. <laughs> they treat this like a real level, even though it's not much of a level. Okay. There we go. And there's Tana! On a bird. And there we go. The island's not burning to the ground, and we don't have to fight Cortex. This is considered the true ending. Even though Crash 2 does not pick off af pick up after this, but wh whatever. Where did that bird come from? What what purpose does that bird serve? Was that one of the birds from Super Climb? Or right, anyway, Papu sold the ruins of Castle Cortex to a resort developer. He then used the proceeds to open a big and tall shop on the island. Oh, isn't that isn't that good? All right, there you go, Papu. Big and tall. That's that's nice. That's nice. Good for you. Good for you. After intense therapy and eight years of higher education, Dr. Rue went on to write the well-received book through the eye of the vortex, study of rapid evolution and its consequences. Wasn't well, that nice? Koala Kong moved to Hollywood and landed a motion picture deal of universal proportions. Currently, he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. Good job, you super macho man ripoff. Seriously, that is exactly what Super Macho Man does! All those poses! Oh my god, I really want to play Punch-Out now. Pinstripe moved to Chicago, where he now owns and operates a citywide sanitation company. He is saving money for his upcoming gubernatorial campaign. I sense corruption. I sense corruption. After his disappearance, uh, after the disappearance of his mentor, Dr. Nitrous Brio recovered his first love, Tending Bar. The world has heard nothing more of C Cortex since Crash foiled his plans, but evil geniuses are harder to squash than cockroaches. As we will see, you know, since he becomes the main villain of every other game after this. And yay, the same credit sequence, only we are treated to a animation of Tauna and Crash humping a bird. Well, no, no, that's, that's just... No, that was inappropriate. So, yep, that's it. For Crash, I'm going to wrap this here up. Thank you all for watching. It's been a blast playing through this here game. Only took three weeks, but eh, whatever. I don't know. I, like, I, I think I say this like quite a bit, but actually playing through this has caused me to appreciate the game even more. You know, my first time through this, this was like the hardest game I had ever played, but yeah, I had a way easier time playing it now than before, but I guess that's just just because, you know, I'm now sort of used to the game. I've sort of, like, I, I know little tricks here or there to do certain things. And, yeah, I'm, I'm just used to it. So, I don't know. I mean, but I still don't really like this as much as Crash 2. And definitely not as much as Crash 3. Although, I do find it better than Crash 4. And that's not saying Crash 4 is bad. I actually do like Crash 4. I think it gets a lot of, uh hate that it doesn't deserve. Oh, Skip Paul. Huh. But yeah, I think it gets a lot of hate that it doesn't deserve. You know, I mean, it, it's a good game. It's just different. And Twin Insanity, I, I do like Twin Insanity. But, yep, I don't know when I'm going to start a Crash 2 and Spyro 2, but, yeah, well, Spyro, 2, Spyro is going to be going on a bit longer than this. I tried to have it set up where they would both like take the same amount of time, but alas, to no avail. But whatever. Oh, Crash has like, what, one or two more parts left, so, yep. Uh, not Crash, but Spyro. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. See you next time with a new playthrough from me. Good day, and goodbye.